Mr. Trump, can you uh, practice your State of the Union so you can sound presidential? Fine. All right, what do we have here? Madam Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, the First Lady of the United States, and my fellow Americans. Who wrote this? The, oh, the agenda I will lay out this evening is not a Republican agenda or a Democrat agenda. You are right, that isn't the meaning. There is no Republican, there is no Democrat. There is only Trump. Tom Brady is a beautiful, beautiful man. No homo, no homo of course. I have never felt the burning desire for a man, but the LGBT community loves me anyway. Lesbian, bi, gay, sexuals. The world needs to be hotter. People are freezing in Chicago. And I said to them, I have an idea. We will burn all the oil to raise the temperature of the earth. We will make a big pit where Detroit used to be. We will dump all of our oil there and we will set it on fire and climate change will be solved. In fact, I was there at the Stonewall riots. I threw the first brick. You can look that up on Wikipedia. It's a fact. I invented homosexuality, but no homo, of course. I am the straightest man you have ever met. You can ask my wife, Melania. No, that was rhetorical. Don't let her speak. <sighs> Me and Kim Jong-un are great friends. We went out the other weekend and we watched the Super Bowl together. He asked me for tips on how to do his hair. I said, buddy, buddy. I call him buddy because we're such great pals. I patted him on the back and he patted me on the back as well. And looking out into the sunset, I said to him, Mr. Kim, you already have great hair. I am a great motivator. I am a merciful God. He leaned over to kiss me, but I pushed him away and I said, not yet. We must keep America first in our hearts. We must keep freedom alive in our souls. And we must always keep faith in America's destiny. That one nation under God, amen, must be the hope and the promise and the light and the glory among all the nations in the world. Do you know why they say amen? Hebrew scholars have taught me this. They say amen because God is a man. Thank God, amen. It's outlined right there for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you, God bless America, and good night. I don't like this, I don't like this at all. I want whoever wrote this speech killed. America is a country founded on friendship and second chances. This year, I gave a second chance to the once laughable loser, Lindsey Graham. But now, me and him are the best of friends. I have trained him very well. Sometimes he says to me, Papa, can I have another treat? And I say yes. And from my pocket, I give him four jelly beans, no more than four. <sighs> I haven't had to do so much reading since the lawsuit. Which? I can't remember.